Hello and welcome back to Mac at the Movies. Today I'm going to be sharing with you on this week's Weekly Rewind the film The Faculty. Uh, everyone was a Josh Hartnett fan in the 90s. You know it. Don't be ashamed. Uh, he was just in about everything. I don't think he had a choice to be anything other than a fan. Uh, he was a heartthrob for both men and women alike. Uh, anywho, uh, this film has been a while since I've seen it. Uh, been quite some time since I've seen it. Uh, I do remember the last time I watched it. I was with my buddy Nate, and uh, we were watching it at my mom's house. So, uh, yeah, it's been quite some time. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to revisiting it. And I was going through trying to find something to watch on VHS, and I saw this, and I was like, yes, please. So, we're going to bust into this. I need to figure out how to turn on my TV. I've done it only a thousand and a half times. So, we'll go ahead and get that started. Get the good Dimension Films home video. Put that in. Got those Snow Angels singing their song. But not for long. Anywho, uh, movie starting, so I will see you after the movie to talk about the flick. Bye. And we're back. So, The Faculty. Great movie. Let's talk about it. Hit that rewind. Alright, so, and I don't know what year this took place, but I think it came out in 1998. Uh, some aliens took over a school. Josh Hartnett and this gang of whatnots, uh, decided to go up against the evil parasitic aliens. Uh, you find out that uh, uh, one or more people are more than what they appear to be, and they sort of have to stop it and kill off the head alien. Are they successful? I don't know. You've got to watch it. But it's a great film. I didn't realize that Robert Rodriguez both directed and edited this film. And uh, not only was this the, you know, height of the time where, like, Josh Hartnett was in every movie just about, uh, but uh, I forgot that Usher was uh, an actor at one point in time. He'd been in several films, but... Uh, but, yeah, awesome film. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, after the credits, I don't know if it does it in the DVD or other formats, but you get a, uh, a cover of Another Brick in the Wall Part 2 by Lane Staley and... Tom Morello, a couple other people, uh, they were the only two that I recognized in the video, uh, as well as, uh, I guess, you know, uh, a choir of, uh, graduating class, so, uh, all in all, great film, definitely check it out if you get the opportunity, I absolutely love this movie, uh, the rewind stopped, uh, again, I, I had no clue that Robert Rodriguez did this film, uh, I don't, I don't even think, well, I mean, it says it on the back here. Maybe if I read the little print back here, I would have known that. But, alas, I did not. So, anywho, great film. Definitely check it out. Have you seen it? What do you think about it? Uh, I was texting my buddy Nate, who I had recently watched, or not recently watched this with. It was a decade ago, maybe. Uh, it, it's been a while, but he was the last person I watched this with, and, uh, I texted him a quote from from this film while I was watching it, and uh, he got a giggle out of it. So, anywho, uh, definitely check it out if you haven't. Great, fun film. And again, Josh Hardnett. It's the hair, really. That's, that, that's what makes you fall in love with him. The hair. It's like he rolled out of bed, but when he was sleeping, he was wearing a helmet. But it just works. And he has that hair in every single movie he is ever in. I think he just pretty much goes to a stylist and says, don't touch it. Anywho, check the film out. Got Elijah Wood before he was a hobbit. Give it a go. The faculty. So, anyway, I'll check you out next time. Uh, always be good to one another, and I'll see you later. Bye.